Hey gang, Chef Z from Livingston Restaurant here. We're going to uh, finish up our three-part series on smoking chicken. If you remember, we started by brining the chicken. Um, then after we brined it, we pulled it out, we trussed it up, like so. And uh, we let it dry out for a little bit so that the smoke would take. So now comes the easy part. Really, we're ready to smoke the birds. Um, I'm not going to get into how you set up your smoker because everybody has uh, different kinds. Some people use a big green egg. Some people use, um, a, you know, an outdoor smoker. Some people use the indoor, which I really don't recommend because it's going to kick up a lot of smoke, as you can see. The important part is that we've got our bird trap. We're going to season a little bit. We're going to season pretty liberally with salt. Make sure we cover that bad boy. Remembering, of course, that salt brings out the flavor of everything and makes it taste good. A little freshly cracked black pepper. We prefer not to use the uh, pre-ground stuff that comes in the uh, jar because pepper is best and releases its fullest aroma when it's freshly cracked. So, we're going to jam this guy in the smoker. Now you can see I've got a big, beautiful, professional smoker. I need to stand back a little bit so I don't get gassed out. We like to smoke our birds at 325. Now because the bird is trussed, it's going to take a little bit longer than if it weren't. I would recommend going in for about an hour and a half. Of course, we're going to let temperature be our final guide here. And I'll show you how we do that. We want to take a thermometer and we want to drive it into the meatiest part of the bird. And we're shooting for 165 degrees, which we've more than cleared, so we're in good shape. We're going to pop the strings, watch fingers, of course, and look at that. The camera can zoom in on how juicy that bird is, thing of beauty. So that's really all it takes. It was a lot of fun, and uh, we'll see you next time.